Land sizes available to smallholder farmers for maize production continue to diminish year after year. It is therefore evident that increased incomes for the farmers cannot be achieved by planting more, but rather by planting smart on the little available space. Adoptions of simple efficiency enhancing techniques and practices have been known to significantly increase crop production in many parts of the world. This video provides guidelines and practices for optimal maize farming at planting level for smallholder farmers in Kenya. It is meant to be revised regularly on the basis of practical experience and emerging technologies. Furthermore, it is meant to be complemented with practical tools demonstration based on local innovations and specific guidelines offered by your extension support expert. Land preparation refers to the process of creating a soil structure that is favorable for seed germination and maize crop growth. This may involve clearing the land and breaking the hard soil. Smallholder maize farmers have over time been victims of inappropriate land preparation practices. These practices manifest themselves in farmers either preparing land much earlier or later than the appropriate time, using inappropriate tools and equipment, and the over-reliance on conventional land preparation practices. The variable weather patterns that have persisted in recent years often make it difficult to predict how well planting will proceed. Timely land preparation refers to proper anticipation of rains and responding in advance in preparation for seed planting. Late planting seriously compromises crop yields. Prepare the land adequately early before the rains start. This allows the weeds to dry and decompose before planting. Tillage is a physical soil cultivation practice, changing its structure and texture to such an extent that the plants will grow and produce optimally. Most small-scale farmers have continually used the conventional tillage method, which involves the use of moldboard plow for primary tillage, followed by one or two secondary plows and or harrowing. The negative impact of this method is that it leads to soil compaction and subsequent development of a hard pan. Hard pans are dense layers of soil usually found below the uppermost topsoil layer. They limit root growth and reduce water and airflow within the soil. Limited root growth leads to limited crop water and nutrient uptake. Consequently, in many areas, conventional agriculture has led to a decline in crop yields and profitability. Tillage can be done in three ways. Intensive soil tillage is what many farmers are used to. It involves turning the soil over using plows such as the moldboard plow or the disc plow. However, this has several disadvantages. It leads to the development of a hard pan and exposes the soil to erosion and moisture loss through evaporation.
the practice also tends to leave minimal crop residue on the soil surface after tillage, making the topsoil highly susceptible to soil erosion. To overcome this problem, it is recommended that farmers should not use this practice in successive seasons, but should instead alternate with other methods. Minimum tillage is a soil conservation system with a goal of minimum soil manipulation necessary for a successful crop production. I've, I've been farming for the past 30 years now. And when I started, it was a conventional um, uh, you know, plow, uh, harrow, you know, uh, primary cultivation, uh, secondary cultivation, and then planting. Now this one's a single uh, cultivation, and then you plant straight off. It's simple. You just chisel once, leave it fallow. When it does rain, you will have a few weeds coming up. Put in a, a non-selective herbicide that will kill off all the weeds. And the water that has been collected from the rains will actually set in because you've, uh, most of the weeds have been killed, so it, you know, the water will be retained. Leave it like that. And then just come in with a, mili uh, with a minimum tail planter. So you've, you've, uh, you've saved one operation out there where you have to cultivate, to, you know, make a proper seed bed. The chisel plough comes across as a superior minimum tillage implement that is accessible and offers many benefits. The chisel is generally defined or better significantly because what it does is it doesn't dry out your soils. Um, it maintains uh, moisture in the ground because it has not turned the soil. And remember, when you're losing moisture, moisture is critical for you to be able to uh, grow any seed or any crop. So if you can retain moisture from the previous year, it's important. You do not necessarily have to go to a very large scale to do chisel plowing. You have chisels that range from literally three tines to 13, 15 tines, which are for much bigger tractors. The three tine chisel, for example, will work very well for somebody who is using a three disc plow uh, tractor, which is about maybe a tractor that's 65 horsepower to 75, 90 horsepower range. You can use a three tine chisel. For a tractor that is up to, that is 90 horsepower to about 100, 110, you can use a five-time chisel. The chisels are available locally. Um, the one important thing about chisels is that they actually save a lot of fuel for the farmer. They will do a bigger acreage for less fuel. So it's actually a big cost saving uh, compared to a normal disc plow. And if it gives you better results where you harvest more because of better water retention, etc., then it pays back for the farmer. No-till farming, also called zero tillage or direct drilling, is a way of growing crops without disturbing the soil. This method uses chemicals to kill weeds and it offers many benefits. It increases the amount of water that infiltrates into the soil and increases organic matter retention. It reduces and in some regions eliminates soil erosion. It increases the amount and variety of life in the soil. It also improves soil fertility. Seco Farm in Eldoret started using the zero tillage method last year. Twenty-five bucks per acre. Nasaza to na bada of a dad bucks kuaega. Wagaturwa mogu to mia in dia kisaza, ya kuto lima shiamba, ya kutu mia siro tilling, to na kuja to na spray, after spray, to na kuja na tila, to na pika aro, then planting. Aina mamba ying. Production 
Na utaza spray kwa hiyo nafsak ya 20 liter. Nafsak kama tatu. Mutu moja utaza spray 2 acres kwa 2 hours. Hazo unuona utaza kwa melima ya kambili kwa eka kwa 1 hour. Na hiyo itakuwa ni accurate. Na baada hapo utaza jimbia tu mbekusaka kwa shiamba bila kulima shiamba utaza tumia hii njia kutumia dao. Points to note. Prepare your land at the right time. Alternate land preparation practices using the right implements. Use minimum or zero tillage to conserve moisture, save money, manage soil fertility, control soil erosion, and increase your yields. Let us look at some equipment used in land preparation. The hoe or jembe in Swahili is a hand tool used mainly for breaking up the soil and is ideal for small acreages. In fairly large sizes of land, mechanical equipment are recommended. Tractors are most often used to pull equipment through the field and rotate equipment components. Plows are implements used to perform primary tillage. A number of types of plows are in common use including the moldboard plow, the chisel plow, and the disc plow. The moldboard plow achieves complete soil inversion which buries weed and weed seeds and water repellent soil. It does near complete weed control and increases nutrient access. The chisel plow loosens the soil without inversion so that organic materials decompose more slowly. Moistured soil is not transported upwards. It can be used on extremely heavy soils where other types of tillage tools are quality and capacity-wise unsatisfactory. The plant material left on the soil helps to control wind and water erosion. Chisel plow should not be used when the soil is too wet. The disc plow is used for deep plowing in root infested, sticky, stony and hard soils. It mixes remains of crops and weeds throughout the depth of plowing. Disc harrows use steel blades to slice through crop residues and soil. A disc can be used for primary or secondary tillage. Reapers are designed to break up subsoil compaction while leaving a smoother soil profile and retaining as much residue as possible for soil conservation practices. Some plows are a combination of various plows which enable the farmer to carry out many operations in one go but such require huge tractors with a lot of horsepower. Points to note. Avoid using the disc plow over and over to avoid the formation of a hard pan. The chisel plow helps to conserve moisture. It also saves fuel and conserves the soil. If there is formation of a hard pan in your farm, use a reaper to break it. AIC